All right, so to start our tote bag, I'm first going to make a couple of text boxes because I'm gonna be using two different fonts here. So the first thing I'm going to write is <clears throat> summer break. And I'm actually gonna do, oops, I'm gonna change this to my Magnolia Sky font. Then I'm going to make another text box and it's going to say, Is my favorite? And this one I'm actually going to do in the Skinny Things font. I think this is a Cricut font. I'm pretty sure this one is. Um, so that's going to say is my favorite and then my last box is going to be is my favorite subject so that's going to also be Magnolia Sky. So now I'm going to just start <clears throat> arranging these how I want them. So first what I want to do is with these script fonts I want to ungroup them and how I like to do it is I like to just manually move the letters together because with these script fonts you want them to touch because they are meant to be like you know a cursive font and when you write them out originally it doesn't actually um, link them together so we're gonna do summer and then I want the break to be like down here and then for this one, I also want to ungroup it, and I just want to scoot these words out from each other just a little bit. But the letter spacing is fine, um, Just I just wanted to scoot out the words a little bit. And then down here, again, I just want to ungroup this and move the letters. And I know everyone, or not everyone, but you know, people comment they say you could just move use these letter spacing um, arrows up here and that's absolutely an option I just personally like to um, I like to manually move them myself because I just feel like I have more control over what is happening so I have this pretty much a just trying to select all this so I can move it. So I pretty much have this arranged how I want it. So all of this is ungrouped right now. So what I want to do is I want to highlight everything and click weld. And you'll see all of those layers. Now it's all turned into one block of text. So now I'm going to, what I want to do is I'm going to make a circle because I'm gonna make this like a layered image and I'm gonna do it with pink holo so this is gonna be pink holographic vinyl and then this is going to be like a turquoise minty situation color um, so now what I want to do is I want to highlight everything and click slice. Now this is going to look like we're making a stencil, but we're not. We're just making it so this will be the background and then I'm going to layer this right on top with my mint so it'll fit in there nicely. Um, if you want to layer vinyl just right on top of each other um, you could try that, but I think this method is just a little bit easier and you don't have to worry about, you know, overheating your um, vinyl. So now that we have this, we can come over here to make it. And what we want to do here is we want to mirror our text. Um, the reason is, is because um, 
with HTV, heat transfer vinyl, iron-on. Um, nine times out of ten, you, we need to have it cut out on the back side. And then once we apply it, that's when we flip it. And, um, that, and so it'll be pressed on the back side. It makes more sense once I actually um, show it. So we'll hit continue. And we'll choose our machine. Set our settings to H just regular iron on for this black one. And I'll switch you guys over to the camera so you can see what we're going to do. So now we are going to load our mat with some really pretty holographic vinyl. Oh my god. It is so freaking beautiful. Okay, so same thing. We're just going to load our mat with this sheet. And I don't know... I'm not gonna I'm not gonna cut this I'll just trim it once it's finished um, so again we're putting the shiny side down because this silver side is the side that's actually gonna like press to the material so our image is mirrored and I'm going to change my settings so for my settings here I'm actually going to go to my browse all materials um, so if you're doing this with an Explorer, I think you would select custom and then choose which material you would want. So I'm going to see if they have anything for holographic. Okay, so holographic iron-on. So that is the one that I want to try. So we have our settings set, so now I'll change back to the video. All right, so now we have our settings ready to go. So now we'll load our mat with our holographic vinyl. And again, if you're not using holographic vinyl, you could do this with any color. Um, honestly, I just, I had this beautiful sheet, so I wanted to use it. So I'll bring you guys up a little bit so you can see this. So we will cut. <laughs> So our holographic vinyl is done, so we can set this aside. So next we're going to cut, again, just regular HTV. We are going to cut our text that's going to go in the middle of that pink holographic. So we're going to layer this in that. So. Put our mat down. Again, the shiny side is down. Our text is mirrored. We're good to go. And we can load our mat with this. I love this like pretty minty color. And we will cut once this is ready to go. <laughs> Here's my holographic. 
So I'm doing three bags here. So one, um, oh, just realized you're very crooked. Okay. One is for Madeline. And so this is her stuff. And then the other two are going to be for the twins and they're the exact same. Uh, well, they're same bag, kind of the same design. So, um, I'll start weeding Madeline's first because hers only has these two elements. Where is my weeding tool? Okay, so to, these are going to be super simple to weed. So all I need to do is just pull up a chunk and just kind of start pulling. And I believe most, so I think this color um, was from Auntie Tay's Fall Fun Pack. This was in one of her mystery boxes. I can't remember which one. I think it was, oh, I can't even remember, honestly. Um, This, I believe, was from maybe the Fall Fun Pack as well. I can't, I can't keep track, honestly, but, but my point is that you can get most of these colors, um, from Auntie Tay. This video, um, isn't sponsored by her, but, um, she has sent me a bunch of stuff to play with. So, um, she carries, I believe, a lot of the sizer products, so... HTV sizer is the only easy weed is really the only stuff I've ever used. Um, and it's always worked great. So I'm just, I'm making a mess out of this actually, but, um, basically I'm just pulling this away. And that's why I love HTV because it's super easy to weed. That's why it's called easy weed. So now I'm just going back and Getting all these middles that I missed. And this font, this script is Magnolia Sky. Um, I got this from DeFont and I know you cannot use these commercially. All right, so we're just weeding all this excess out. I love these curly, scripty fonts, but I always miss like a little like piece here, so I just wanted to make sure. Okay. I saw this saying on Google, and I thought it was so cute. Because Madeline is <clears throat> going to go into fifth grade, so she's like pretty cool. So I didn't want anything too cheesy for her. Or, you know, not cool. All right, so this is going to go on her bag. And then over here, this basically I'm just going to want to, I'm going to weed out the negative part of this. So just to get it. All right, just to get it started, I'm just going to pull up the negative and then we also have the bow on here too so the bow is done that's the easiest part of this whole thing bow's done so now we just got to weed out the text because this is gonna go like this so we're gonna layer this bad boy and actually, it's really funny. I thought this um, vinyl originally, I thought it was regular. And so I started to do a tutorial with it and figured out real quickly that it was not regular vinyl. It was HTV. I forget what video that was for, but I had to um, improvise, you know, as you do with crafting. <laughs> Now 
as you do. What's happening here? Oh, that's the big part of the M. I was like, what is going on here? I would love for all of this to just come up as one piece to make this less tedious. Oh, that's because... So here we're going to want these middles to stay since we're layering this. So we want the middles of the letters to stay. I haven't done a ton of layering HGV because it actually it's like very intimidating to me, but I wanted to try you know, just try something different, a little more complex. But, you know, if you're a beginner, you could absolutely do this too. Um, there's just a little, a smidge, smidge of technique with layering because... Oh, I just... Okay. Because um, when you're layering, the first layer you put down, you only want to press it for like, like, thir like not even five seconds. Like you just want to get, I just said like so many times, I apologize. You only want to press it enough just to get it to stick to the material. The reason is, is because... If you press it too long, the heat is gonna, you know, it makes it shrink a little bit. So if you press it for too long, it's gonna shrink too much. And then, you know, this won't actually fit into this. So um, you just gotta get, be patient with it a little bit. And, you know, you'll learn as you go. If you are a beginner, um, You'll, you'll start to get to the hang of these kinds of little nuances. And I didn't know any of this stuff until I joined, like, Facebook groups and I joined, you know, all these forums and stuff to help me. And, and I actually did my, like, I don't know how many fun facts or, like, how many tips it was, but I did, like... A bunch of tips on how to get started with your Cricut on Auntie Tay's channel a couple of weeks ago. If you want to go check that out, I'll link it. Um, that's for if you're a beginner, beginner and you just like don't even know where to start and you're so overwhelmed. Or if you are a seasoned Cricuter and you just, you know, want a little refresher or just some other tips from somebody different. <laughs> it is such a beautiful day outside in Huntington right now. Oh my God. But I really wanted to get some crafting done. And I saw these at Target, these totes I'm going to be doing. Oh my God. They're so freaking cute. It was ridiculous. All right. So we have this one is ready to go for Madeline. Let's put that to the side. Get rid of these scraps because honestly HTV scraps are like the hardest thing to manage because if you get like the tiniest little scrap on something and press it it's real difficult um to get off so okay so that bag is ready to go all right so this how cute are these totes so I got these at Target they were, this is the, the um, tag, they were $3. And these are like nice, these are like canvas. These aren't like cheap, like plastic, they're nice. So they have this um, pattern, they have the pattern I'm gonna use for the kids, the twins, and then they have this pattern too with like these little apples. 
It was so cute. So, so, so cute. Love it. And so while our heat press is pressing, or not pressing, heating up, so I was thinking of putting this right here for Madeline in the middle, and then this will go on top. So it kind of matches, actually almost matches perfectly with that like notebook. Um, so I thought that would be super cute. So I'm just waiting for my heat press to warm up. And so also while that is heating up, I will be using a small piece of, I think this is like parchment or Teflon or something over it just to protect the bag. Um, I don't think it's 100% necessary, but honestly with, with these canvas tote bags, I usually get kind of worried I'm going to like burn it or ruin it or something. Um, so I think that's pretty much it. This is already pretty ironed, but just to um, make sure that the, everything sticks. I'm just going to warm it up a little bit. Nothing melted. That's good. Um, so I'm going to press this first. And again, I'm only going to press this just to get it to stick. I'm not going to press it for too long. And I'm going to start out with my heat press at 305 um, but I'm only going to do this for like a couple seconds. So I'm not even going to put my timer on. Just giving it some moderate pressure. We'll see if that did the trick. It did. It's just barely stuck onto that, which is good news. That's good. Because now we're going to layer this bad boy over it. So this is where... Things just escalate and get tricky. This is where patience comes in. And if you wanted to do this in like two, I honestly probably should have done this in two different sections, but you know, that's all right. Actually, you know what? To save my sanity, I am going to do this in two sections. I'm going to cut, see if I can cut this. This is very aggressive. Okay, we're good. We're in the clear. All right, so definitely if you can break up your SVG, that is probably... The way to go just to like you know save your sanity All right, I think that's the best I'm gonna get for the top. And then for the bottom. So I'm just, that looks good to me. So no real trick to that. Actually, the trick, I think, is breaking up that SVG into two or three pieces if you can. If it's an image, obviously, it's a little bit different. This is very intricate with, like, the cursive lines and, you know, all of that. So um, it was a little bit more difficult. But, um, you know, if you can break up the SVG, I think that will save your sanity because it definitely just saved mine. So now that I have all of this on here, I'm going to really press it now for a good 15, 20 seconds or so. So I'm taking my heat press, again, still at 305. And I'm just gonna press and give pressure. And I love the timer on this because I have no sense of time. I'll like count in my head and be like, oh yeah, that was probably like, you know, 20 seconds. It was like three minutes. All right. Left that on there for a little bit longer just for 
good measure. And so now we can just peel this up. And it's beautiful. And you know what I actually just realized I did do? And um, this is why it's like, don't do as I say. No, don't do as I do, do as I say. I didn't put a protector sheet over here, so this melted a slight bit. I'm gonna see if this is salvageable at all. Or not salvageable, because you can't even tell. Luckily, it's, it's um, you know, holographic, but if that were regular, that would have definitely, you could definitely see the wrinkles in that, so my apologies. All right. So we have our super cute bag. Oh my God, this turned out so cute for Madeline. 